welcome to another makeup tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be doing this like cool tone purple look. Um, I recently got some of the new Makeup Geek reformulated. Well, they're I don't think they're reformulated, but they're like repackaged and um, completely revamped. They're um, new eyeshadows, and I use this row of shadows. And honestly, when I first looked at this palette, I was initially intrigued by these cool tones here, and then these here I don't know why but I was just like those mattes I'm going to use today and then when I started doing the look I was kind of like uh, I don't know if this is gonna turn out right but for me personally like when I feel like a look isn't gonna turn out right I at least go through like my foundation routine and everything to see like how it looks when it all comes together because I've said this numerous times like sometimes when I really don't like an eye look like if I know it's trash I'll just wipe it off and just like not do makeup that day because it I'm obviously not my juices aren't flowing but when I know that it's like kind of all right and it might look better with lashes and then with a full face I feel like it all comes together and then that's when I'm like yes like once I finished the look and then I added the inner corner popped on the lashes and the lower lash line mascara then I was like okay this is really coming together this is really starting to look really good so that is that um I don't even know the names of these shadows honestly I I kind of just went into them, but I'll make sure that I list them down below, or if I end up doing a voiceover, I'll end up including them in the voiceover, but I'm not sure if I'll do a voiceover um, or not, so I hope you guys enjoy. It is going to be the one eye as well as some of my face. My camera ended up dying before I applied like blush and highlighter, but for blush, I used my Sasha Blush and Barely Plum, and then highlighter, I of course used my Dose of Colors Desi Katie and Mirame. That's like my favorite highlighter, so that is that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you go if you haven't already subscribed join our family and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye How's everybody doing? Welcome back. So first I'm going to start with priming my lids and today I'm actually going to use the ABH primer. I really like this primer because it has a white kind of base and it doesn't need to be set down. Um, well it's not really a white base but it's such a light color that it looks white on me. So when I work with colors I like to use this, um, this primer because it really makes it pop and also lets the eyeshadow stick to it. So when I'm not going in with like a regular eyeshadow colors I will most likely be using this and I'm just using a thin set synthetic concealer brush to blend it out and blend it into my um, concealer as well. Now I'm going to take Vintage from the um, Neutrals palette from Makeup Geek um, and I'm using a Morphe blending brush. I'm not really sure what number or anything this brush is but this is going to be kind of like my middle shade or like my bridge shade. Um, it's not gonna it's not really a transition shade but I am applying it first and I'm gonna blend it upwards but it's kind of like a middle shade if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna keep working this into the crease until it's like as opaque as I want. So I usually go in and go in and go in. Now I'm gonna take blushing beauty which is right above the last shade that we use and just this is going to be my quote unquote transition shade. This this is going to be the shade that it helps blend out the shade that we just applied. It didn't really show up on me, but I felt like I needed to do it just to help blend it out. Now I'm going in with Prim and Proper with a Moda eyeshadow brush. This is from the Totally Electric brush set. Absolutely love that brush set. Like you can see, I'm still using it to this day. But this is a really light, kind of like purpley lavender kind of color. It's really hard to explain this this color because I don't really know what it is, but it's so pretty. And then I'm going to use Americano, which is an OG fave of mine. This is the same shade that they um, had in previous pans in the circular pan, but this is going to be my um, kind of like deepening and darkening shade so my outer v shade and i'm just using a smaller blending brush from morphe i really like this blending brush it's still fluffy but it's tight enough that it gets into the crease and that just added some definition so now i'm going to apply some eyeliner this is the nyc black liquid eyeliner if you are looking for this eyeliner check Amazon because the last time that I bought this maybe like a year or two ago I bought like a three pack and that was when they stopped selling it in stores and 
I found it there. So I'm not sure if you can still find it now, but check Amazon. Amazon has everything, girl. Um, next, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I've never used this. This is actually the first time that I used it, so I'm not really sure how I like it. I don't want to tell you that I like it or don't like it. It is more of a lotion kind of feel, and it doesn't really do anything spectacular, I feel like, but it is supposed to make your foundation last all day, kind of like their All Nighter Setting Spray. So for foundation, I'm using my Pat McGrath Labs Foundation. <laughs> we all know that I hated this foundation when I first tried it, and then now it's like my favorite foundation when I want Want to look flawless and I want to look warm and just naturally beautiful I wear this foundation like not even kidding this is like my favorite foundation at the moment I use it very seldom because this baby is expensive and anybody got no money like that but I really like this foundation this is a Revlon flat top kabuki brush and oh my gosh this foundation with this brush is so bomb like this flat top kabuki brush from Revlon is so good. Um, when I first decided to use it, I used it for like a week straight, not even kidding, not even cleaning it, not doing anything. I absolutely loved it with any type of liquidy foundation. It was so good. And then we're going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I think this is in the shade tan. I know y'all be getting on me about my light concealers, but y'all, y'all just going to have to like watch or don't like i like highlighting really lightly and don't get me wrong y'all aren't the only ones because my mom is, says the same thing but i'd be like girl um but i this is just this is just my skilo like i just like a bright under eye concealer and especially in the winter time when i'm a little lighter and i'm not I don't go outside much in the summertime unless I'm taking pictures so I don't get too much sun exposure so I haven't gotten like too dark or too light but that concealer does me good and then this is the ColourPop um, setting powder in Banana. I really love this setting powder as well. I remember when it first came out, I was all about it. I used it all the time. It's so good. And this is um, a beauty blender that I'm using to apply it. This is like from their Jewel collections past winter or Christmas, I guess. I don't know, but I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so next, we're just going to go ahead and contour. Usually, I apply foundation, I highlight, and I powder contour some people like to cream contour sometimes i do sometimes i don't it depends on how much time i want to spend doing makeup like we gotta remember this is my job and i don't mean i'd be like mm -mm, i don't got time for that girl because let me tell y'all i take this makeup off right after i take these pictures <laughs> so i usually don't ever cream contour unless i'm like going like extreme like over and beyond but I always make sure I snatch the nose and let me tell you so I'm just using a um, buff and blend brush from Sigma just to apply the contour down the nose and then I'm just using the blend beauty blender again just to go along the side of the nose just to really sharpen up the contour make sure it's not muddy or anything like that and then here I am deciding if I'm going to use white eyeliner I never use white liner y'all know that and I just feel like with this look it would really open up the eyes and it just look really good so I decided that today I was just gonna apply some white eyeliner for whatever reason and I'm using a Moda liner brush which I never thought I'd use either it came out of that totally electric brush kit as well and here I am using it I was like go girl um, so now I'm just using that same uh, first shade that we used I think it's blushing or prim and proper I get I don't know but I'm just repeating the same steps I'm applying the first shade that I used, and then I'm using Americano on a flat definer brush from the Jaclyn Hill collection and then I'm hopping on my more lashes in the style um, I think these are bad and lashy or oh, Spice Girl so good so this is a jelly eyeshadow I forget the name of it but it's from Colourpop it was out of their butterfly collection and this just looked perfect like once I popped this on in the inner corner it just took this look to the next level mind you I did put on mascara on my lower lashes as well but I'm using an inner corner brush from Sigma and it just yes it took me there so this lip liner is a dose of colors lip liner and it's in the shade too cool it's a cool purpley kind of tone lip liner and in hindsight i should have wiped off my um, lip gloss that i had on from the beginning of the video but this lip liner went perfectly with the eyes i wanted to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and do cool tone lips as well as a cool tone eye so i used too cool as the lip liner and now i'm using abh's sepia as the lip color and i just kind of like blotted it together but it all came together like I was like yes Lon like this look is popping like 
you you did that like for real <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe before you go because it's free and we're a family over here and yeah so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for seeing breaks i did bring them back today i was jamming i love you all and i'll see you soon bye Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you?